Hello, and welcome to today's, to today's webinar on direct mail plus digital advertising equals improved results. I am Amy Rankin, sales representative here at LKCS. Um, thank you very much for joining me. So for those of you who don't know us very well, LKCS is a full service marketing company. Um, we've been in business since 1961 and at our core we are a printing company. Uh, today I'll be talking about taking that printing technology um, and combining it with our online advertising as well as other things to ramp up better results. Now as you can see here, uh, we have a lot of products and services that we offer. So if there's anything else you would like to hear about or receive information on, please let me know and we can schedule a time to speak at a later date. So to start off, um, Obviously, we're in quite a surreal and interesting position nowadays, being in the midst of a pandemic. So I thought that this quote from Barb Marley was, um, was appropriate. Uh, you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice that you have. Just because the majority of our social lives is at a standstill does not mean we should stand still in our jobs. And if anything, we need to be here for our customers more than ever. Um, I think people are looking uh, for us to lead them in, the, in helping make the best decisions for them. And that being said, we cannot stop marketing. Don't stop marketing. Um, they need to know that we're still here for them and that we're going to be here for them and, and to help them in any way that they need. With everyone practicing social distancing and remaining home the majority of the time, I think most are now looking forward to that, that short trip to the mailbox to see what kind of goodies they, they have in there. So why not combine that direct mail offer with our campaign suite product to keep account holders informed and get a better ROI? And what I mean by this is that everybody is currently sending out emails on how that they're dealing with, with everything that's been going on. But you're still only getting a few items in your actual mailbox every day. And um, I don't know about anybody else, but walking out to get my mail is kind of a reprieve. And I know for a fact that I am definitely taking a little bit more time looking at the, the items that I've received than I used to, which kind of sifting through stuff and tossing it off to the side. I'm guessing a lot of people are doing the same thing that I'm doing now. And mail is a great alternative because we've never actually had this many people at once at home taking time to look at their physical mail they have the time to do so. So direct mail is, is a really a viable option. And we really feel that starting with direct mail is a great opportunity for you. So let's see how we can help. So our campaign suite product has seven marketing essentials. The old way of handling direct mail is, is kind of outdated. It just doesn't work as well as it could anymore. And Campaign Suite mar uh, maximizes marketing impact by operating on a seven-step process where your traditional mail kind of operates only on one. So here we see direct mail. We will send that out same as before, but we're going to add more to it. Uh, mail tracking. We're going to know when it's going to be delivered. USPS informed delivery service. If you don't really know anything about that, don't worry because I'll be talking about that later as we go on. Online follow-ups. Um, ads with Google, um, social media and Facebook ads, call tracking, and then the web visitor identification. Um, we're not going to have any one-step direct mail campaigns anymore. We need to, to come into the future with direct mail, or our present right now, and use it along with technology and go where our target audience is going to go, which is online. So why this product? What works about it? What are we solving? Well, in LKCS's experience, there's three hurdles for direct marketing in the 20th century, meaning there's three main issues that my team has heard and come across with our current clients when they're saying, hey, I'm having problems with my campaigns. And they are difficult to track campaign results, difficult to prove campaign effectiveness, and then there's no way to link offline efforts to the online world. So tracking campaign results, in the past, marketers have relied on 
the receptionist or the sales reps asking about asking the prospect, you know, how did you hear about us? Prospect, prospects are mentioning, well, I received a mail case with this offer, et cetera. And direct mail is my only marketing channel, so I know where my leads are coming from. There's a lot of face-to-face -face interaction. You know, I got the mail piece, I saw it in the newspaper, or I heard it on the radio, et cetera. But this doesn't really work anymore. We have too many marketing mediums to be able to work with. And not many people are receiving these mail pieces anymore or calling in or visiting your brick and mortar location, especially nowadays. You're probably either closed or you have limited in-office avail availability. So if someone is interested in what you're offering, what is the first thing that they'll do? They'll go online. They're gonna to go to your website. They're gonna go check out the offer themselves. But wait a second, what about landing pages or personal URLs? Um, well, we love landing pages and we, we encourage having those landing pages. But what happens when the visitor leaves without filling out a form or calling you? Who are these people? How do you capture their interest again and convert them from a lead into a user? Um, we got them interested in something, but they didn't take that. So how are you gonna capture their interest to convert them to a, um, from a lead? How about Google Analytics? This is a great tool to use. A lot of people use Google Analytics um, some just look at it, they get excited to see the stats that are up, but we're getting increased traffic, but now what? This isn't good enough. Just because I'm getting traffic to the page doesn't necessarily mean people are buying. And then your promotional codes. Um, what we mean is, is putting something on the mail piece to verify that they receive, like mention this code or um, this offer to tie back the mail piece, and it's really great but it only really applies to the user if they're ready to buy the, the offer right now. They're ready to apply to something, they're ready to open something up, whatever that offer is. What happens if they're not ready to buy? What if, what if they're interested in it and they wanna look further into it, like checking out your website or maybe checking a competitor or two, but by the time that they're ready to buy, it's been a couple of weeks. Have they kept that mail piece? It's possible, but if people are a lot like me, they're gonna set it off to the side and probably forget about it. So the proving campaign effectiveness. Um, here's an example of a call that I fear some people might still be having with, with the people who are helping you with these campaigns. And I definitely hope that you're not having these conversations with us at LKCS, because it's, it's rather frustrating. So, you know, getting a phone call like, hey, Amy, I'm rather concerned about the direct mail campaign. No one's brought in the mail piece or called about the offer. And I would reply, hey, Mark, thanks for calling. Have you been receiving more than your normal call volume than sending it out? Well, we've been getting more calls and we have seen some increase in business lately. To so my reply would be, great, awesome, the mail's working. People may not be mentioning the offer, but they must have heard about it from the mail. Yeah, this doesn't, this type of conversation doesn't really fly anymore. Um, really wanna have this type of conversation with, with my clients because it's all just guessing and assuming. Um, and it's, it's not true. This type of conversation isn't true when you're using a, a product like the campaign suite. I mean, if you're spending the money to have a well-designed, put together campaign, you wanna get your money's worth and you wanna get your ROI back out of it because direct mail and post is postage is not cheap. I want to know where those are, when they're being delivered, how many calls are, are coming in, how many people are potentially going onto my website. All of these factors help me figure out if the campaign is being effective. Which leads us in three, linking offline efforts to the online world. So, Offline, direct mail is proven. 92% of people are influenced by direct mail to make purchasing decisions. 40% of consumers made a purchase in the last three months because of mail, and 39% say they try a business for the first time because of direct mail. Those are pretty big numbers. Um, some people think are thinking those numbers are crazy and they don't make sense, but they actually do. I would guess that everyone on the call today has at least 50, 60 mails a day, emails a day that they have to go through, probably more. 
Are we looking at every single email and reading all of the details? No, we're hit and delete, or we're tagging it to look at it later and then we forget about it. Um, when you get home, or when you step away, if you're all working at home, how many pieces of mail do you get in your mailbox? Two, maybe three, five at the most, depending on the day. With those direct mail pieces at home, how many are actually personalized, meaning targeted to you, not saying current resident or anything like that? The more relevant the piece is, the more I'm willing to look at it. And this was true before the pandemic. Definitely true. If it said current resident, I'm tossing it in the garbage. If it's got my name on it, I'll, I'll take a glance at it. Nowadays, people are at home more and they're looking at their mail more. So you're getting more eyes looking at your mail piece than you ever did before. However, we know once they go online, visitors need to convert. 90% of people who are interested in anything go to the company's website first before calling or visiting their brick and mortar location. And 96% of unique website visitors will leave your site without taking any sort of action. So for every 100 people we get to go to your site for, for your direct mail piece or promotion, four at best are taking action. 96 are leaving and never coming back. It's a lot that we got um, interested in initially, but they're all walking away. And that's what we're focusing on. We need to focus on that 96%, that number, so that we can recapture. But before we get into how we'll do that, let's talk a little bit about response rates. So I talked about how much we love direct mail, and here's a big reason why. Those response rates are going to outperform digital channels by a long shot. If you're looking at the charts up here, you're going to get a 1% to 3% higher rate, full percent on direct mail than digital channels. Digital is getting tenths of a percent, and that's a really big difference. And I realize that the digital side is cheaper, but we, and we get that, but that's not really the question we're asking. The question we're asking is, what is the cost per acquisition? That's what we want to look at. For direct mail, we're looking at spending roughly $19 per acquisition, where digital is kind of all over the place, depending on what you want to use. But a good thing is, is that direct mail is, is pretty competitive. It's right there in line with the rest of the digital channels costs. But I argue it's cheaper than anything. If you look, email is cheapest about 11 to $15, but it's only getting a 10th of a percent response compared to the 1% response on direct mail. So basically, I have to do 10 times more emails than direct mail to roughly get the same results. And I think everybody's time is, a worth, is worth a lot more than that. So let's use this and put it all together. Come up with a great campaign that goes across all the platforms and that works together, not just direct mail, but working with direct mail and the digital platforms to get your best ROI. We'll start with the direct mail and we'll follow up with email, social media ads, all of that good stuff. But direct mail is where we get the biggest response and then we follow up. So this is where our campaign suite product comes in. What happens is we get a direct mail piece all together and send it out. The prospect receives the mail piece, takes a look at it, and does what, they th what we think that they're gonna end up doing and going to your website to check it out. Look at, the, you know, view it, um, and then they might leave and go about their business. Because we, if you remember the percentage, 96% of the people are leaving once they visit your site. They're gonna go to, to their normal websites, um, except now that they visit their normal sites, they're gonna start seeing your ads. So if they go and they visit on Facebook or if they're looking at their, you know, news or articles or shopping online, they're going to start seeing your ads again and again and again. They're going to start seeing your ads um, on their phones when they're playing games or using any of their apps. You see it anywhere on there. Basically, they're going to be constantly reminded, oh, I was initially interested in this. And eventually it should take them right back to your website. 
They can click on the ad, it's gonna take them back to their site or your landing page. And even if they don't click on the ad, they know where they saw it because of the direct mail piece. And they're gonna go back to visit, which is what a lot of people do. So gone are the days when people hear, my campaign isn't working, I'm not getting any calls, direct mail doesn't work. Junk mail is not junk, it works and we can prove it. What if you can see if the mail pieces actually hit the mailboxes yet and when? How many calls have been received because of this direct mail piece? How many people have visited your website and now are being followed online by those retargeting ads? And how many people left the website and came back as a result of the follow-up ads? We can tell you all of that with our product. So step-by-step step on how it all works together, mailing is sent to your prospect list. So direct mail, again, remains a tried and true marketing medium with unmatched targeting. You can't target people on email or geofencing or any other digital way like you can with the direct marketing or direct mail side. Um, because there's so much information for direct mail out there that you can't get for digital, you can get really specific and send out actual targeted campaign to the correct people that you want. Mailing is tracked with cutting edge barcode technology. Um, that mail piece will get a piece of barcode called uh, Intelligent Mail Barcode, or IMB. Um, it's nothing special that we do except with the tracking part. It's from the, the USPS. You know, the Postal Service uses the barcode for their informed delivery service, which I'll talk about in a second. Basically, we're using the post office technology to tell you where it is and when it's going to be delivered. So with the campaign suite, we have a dashboard that you will get to log into to see the stats on real time so that you can track. When we put the campaign in the system, you'll see a green projected line, um, which you can barely see on my screen here, um, that is from the post office that's going to show when they feel they'll deliver the piece to the households. Um, and as it happens, the pink line then is your confirmation line and for the most part, it usually crawls right on top of that green line so that you can see the mail pieces are being delivered as expected. Along with um, our dashboard and our um, mail tracking, we also have a map feature. And so you can see this feature of the graph. Um, you can also track the piece to each person um, and when that person's mail piece was delivered, it's kind of fun little tool that we, you know, that you can play with and, and see. Call tracking. So we have a system that, that can help. We, what we do is we purchase a unique phone number that will track um, the number of calls that the mailing generates. It also records the calls so that you can monitor the quality of your lead reception and sales processes. Meaning we put an 800 number on, an, on the mail piece um, this number is only being used for this campaign. If people are calling using this number, it's for that promotion only. We tied this number to whatever number you want, if it's um, you know, one of your branches or if you have um, you know, a call center, we tie it to that. But on the back end, we can record that phone call. Um, and here you can see if it was the client's recording, there would be a little button here so that they would be listening to. I don't have that capability, but you would be able to see when the date that they called, the time, the phone number, who the caller is, how long the duration of the phone call was, and then, you know, you would be able to listen to it. We know that the calls are coming in and we can listen to hear if they're closing the sale or if there's a problem with finding something on their website that they couldn't see before. If someone's calling with an issue, um, chances are more people might be experiencing that same issue, but they didn't really call. So, you know, these are very beneficial because we can fix it right now or for your next campaign, thus always improving and getting better with these types of numbers. Now, you're not going to get thousands of people calling. Um, you might get a handful, and, um, but there's still important phone calls to help improve your campaign. Automated follow-ups, this is a big one. So when a mail recipient visits your website, 
we put a tracking cookie, um, just, you know, text code on their computer. Google and Facebook are looking for that, that code, that tracking cookie. And once they see it, image ads, matching your campaign design on your direct mail piece, um, and the offer will follow those visitors around the internet after they leave your site. So um, I'm sure everybody has shopped at Amazon before um, and, you know, navigating through the website, finding something that they like. I know I've done this, searched for something, saw it, and then left without purchasing it. And then any sort of internet activity I do after that, I'm seeing that pair of shoes or or some sort of garden utensil or whatever that I was thinking about buying but never bought. That, those shoes are following me everywhere I'm going online, just constantly reminding me, hey, you sort of liked this initially, maybe you should take another look. Um, how long is it before you start seeing those ads? I see them pretty, pretty quick. Um, so we're using that Google Display Network and Facebook Ad Network to follow to follow those leads until they decide to take action. So what we see from this is website visitors who are retargeted with display ads are 70% more likely to convert on your website. 26% um, of those customers will return to the site through retargeting. Why is this important? Well, it tells us a lot that a lot of people want to do business online, especially nowadays when we're forced to pretty much do everything online. Um, but even before then, and definitely after all of this, a lot of people want to get that ball rolling online. We need to have a well-developed website, an ability for people to submit um, applications or forms or even start the process on, on the website. We need to have a way to engage with our visitors so that they take action. You know, that 26% um, might not, but they're, they're, they might not buy, but they are definitely returning. Remember the 96% visiting your website and then leaving? You can get 26% to come back and get a second look. And if we can get a few of those people to buy um, the second or third time around, it's increasing your ROI and the numbers will go up. So again, online dashboards um, are available on this platform to show you everything that you need to know. This is the Google online follow-up, so you can see exactly how many people came to your site, were tagged with the cookie, and followed online. You can see how many ads are being displayed um, so far, and you can also see how many times the ads have been clicked by day or viewed by day. This is the Facebook follow-up is the same. Um, a little fun thing with the Facebook follow-up is that we can play with the demographics a little bit. Um, you can click to see how many females between the ages of 25 and 34 have been seeing the ads. This is all on the online dashboard that you would have access to um, and, and, and look at. So let's talk about informed delivery service. This is a great feature that the uh, post office created. Um, I never knew about it until I started working here. And uh, once I had heard about it, I finally signed up and I love it. And a lot of people that I work with have, have eventually signed up for it and they, they enjoy it as well. Basically, the post office created a way to let you know exactly what you're going to receive in the mail before it's delivered. So I get an email every day or you know, every day basically that I'm, when I'm receiving something to let me know what kind of mail I'm gonna get or if I'm receiving a package or anything to that effect. But why would I want it? What are the benefits? Well, you get to view grayscale images of your mail pieces that are scheduled to arrive that day. You're, you can be notified via text or email to track the delivery statuses of your mail pieces and packages. Um, it's free, which is, always a plus, and we can link an ad that will be displayed along with your mail piece from the post office directly to your website or your landing page. And this will allow your account holders to get started before even receiving that mail piece. Um, so basically, the open rates for informed delivery service is well over 60% of an open rate. That's important, and why? Well, if you do email messages now, 
you know that 60% is a large number because most of your email campaigns probably get an open rate of 10 to 20% in that range. This is five to six times greater than that. The click rates are much higher than normal email campaigns. Another feature we have um, is a website identification. It's identification piece. Um, it's a newer feature allowing you to know who came to your site directly from the mailing. So what we do is every time someone comes to your site from the mailing, we capture the IP address and do a reverse lookup. Um, I, I think it's more in depth, but I'm just giving you the basic idea. And what we do is we try to find the address and the person associated with, the, with that IP address. Once we find that person or the address, um, and the match rates are around 15 to 20%, um, we look back if that recipient matches your original mailing list and break it into two categories, leads and matches. If they're a lead, they were not on the original list. They got tagged through another avenue and we're seeing your, your ads that way. A match was a person that was on your original mailing list. So we know how many people from our list got, went to the website. A good feature is, another feature is you can purchase the leads and we can do a separate mailing to them um, that did not receive your original piece to keep driving the interest and the sales funnel growing. It's, it's a newer feature and it's, it's pretty cool. So the benefits um, of Campaign Suite. It's a higher return on investment. Um, you're keeping tabs on mailings with easy to use online tracking using the online dashboard. Um, we're not leaving any leads behind. By using the Google and the Facebook uh, network, we're having them display those follow-up ads and keeping your leads warm by reminding them what they initially were interested in until they're ready to act. And it's a flawless sales system. Um, the included call tracking allows you to see exact data and results of your campaigns. And you can also, again, listen to recorded sales calls to improve quality for better results as they're rolling in and in for future campaigns. Pricing. So everyone wants to know the cost. Um, campaign Suite adds just pennies per piece to your direct mail campaign. Um, giving you just a basic cost isn't, isn't the easiest thing. However, um, pricing is a fix based on volume, so budgeting is relatively easy. I'm not going to get into the depth of pricing right now, um, but the base cost for this product is $600, and that is for 5,000 pieces or less. That gives you the mail tracking, the call tracking, the Google and Facebook ad network information, integration with the post office and form delivery, lead match, online dashboard, and it stays live for 60 days from the day of the mailing. Um, it's a really good value, uh, but you can talk to me or your sales rep afterwards to get more detailed pricing. Thank you for taking the time to listen um, and learn a little bit about direct mail and digital advertising in our campaign suite product. I will remain on the line for a few minutes afterwards to answer any questions. Um, if you want to get a hold of me via email, uh, my email address is listed as well as my direct number. I am Amy Rankin and I am your sales representative. Thank you again and have a wonderful afternoon.